Bats by Gail Gibbons Bats dive, swoop, and swerve through the dark night sky. These creatures are nocturnal, meaning they are awake at night and asleep during the day. Most people have never seen a bat. Bats have played an important part in stories. Many people have thought bats evil spirits. Others have thought they were friends of ghosts and witches. Because many unkind things have been said about bats, some people still think they are scary. Actually, bats are shy and gentle animals. Bats are mammals, as are dogs, cats, and humans. All mammals are warm-blooded animals and their babies are born alive instead of being hatched from eggs. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Bats have been around for a long time. The oldest bat fossil found is about 50 million years old. These prehistoric bats looked a lot like today's bats. All bats have the same basic characteristics, including large wings, small bodies, and lightweight bones. Bat wings are different from the wings of insects or birds. A bat's wing has long arm bones with very long finger bones. A thin skin called a membrane stretches between the bones. The thumb ends with a claw. The membrane connects the bo wing bones to a bat's body and legs. A bat can move each finger separately to change the shape of its wings. This helps it change its speed and direction quickly. Some bats can fly as fast as 15 miles an hour and as high as 10,000 feet. When a bat lands, it flips upside down and hangs by its toe claws. It uses these claws to move around. Bats choose many kinds of dark nooks and crannies to live in. These places are called roosts. Many bats live together in caves, attics, barns, or tall trees. In places where it gets cold in the winter, some kinds of bats migrate to warmer climates. Others use their roosts to hibernate in the spring. Just before hibernating begins, bats eat lots of food to live on during the long winter months. Their heartbeats slow down and their body temperatures drop. Bats live on every continent except Antarctica. Most of them live in hot climates where there are many insects, fruits, and flowers to feed them. There are about a thousand different kinds of bats. The smallest is the kitty's hog-nosed bat. Its wingspan is five inches and it weighs only one fourteenth of an ounce. The biggest bat is the giant flying fox. It has a wingspan of about five feet and it weighs about two pounds. Both live in Asia. Most bats are insect eaters and have a special way of seeing in the night called echolocation. A bat sends out a rapid beeping sound too high pitched for people to hear. When hunting, the sound waves hit an insect. The waves bounce back to the bat's ears as it echoes. These echoes tell the bat the size and shape of the insect and where it's located. In a flash, the bat scoops up the insect. If it weren't for bats, there would be too many insects. There are fruit and nectar eating bats too. These bats help pollinate plants so we can have foods such as avocados, figs, and bananas. They also help scatter seeds. A few kinds of bats are meat eaters. They eat fish, frogs, mice, and sometimes birds. They have smooth, sharp, crushing teeth that allow them to eat what they catch, bones and all. Blood is the only food for vampire bats. They are found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. When the vampire bat finds an animal, it makes a tiny cut with its teeth in the animal's skin. Then the bat laps up the blood with its tongue. The animal hardly feels the cut. Many scary and untrue stories have been told about vampire bats and people called vampires. The famous fictional vampire called Dracula frequently is shown with bats circling him. 
Some bats have long, narrow faces. Others have short, round faces. Some bats have leaf-like shapes on their faces, while others look like dogs. Most bats have very good hearing and can see well. Most bats have a good sense of smell. In the springtime, female bats gather together in roosts that will become nurseries. There they will give birth to their babies called pups. Most bats have only one pup at a time. During birth, the mother bat hangs by her thumb claws with her head up. She forms a basket with her tail membrane. At birth, the pup slides from her body into the basket. As soon as the pup is born, its mother hangs head down again. The pup nurses while being cradled under the mother's wing. The pup clings to its mother's fur using its own sharp teeth and claws. The young pup grows quickly. A 10-day-old pup is almost too heavy for its mother to carry. At three months old, it is flying on nightly hunting trips. When it is about one year old, it is an adult. Today, in many places, bat populations are getting smaller. These bats are endangered. One reason is that many people still don't like bats and destroy their habitats. Other causes are pollution and use of pesticides for killing crop damaging insects. In many places, there aren't enough bats left to keep down the number of insect pests or to pollinate flowers. People are learning how to protect bats. Some people provide bat houses where they can roost. Sometimes people cover bat cave entrances with grill work. Bats are free to come and go, but people can't enter. Also, there are nature preserves that protect large groups of bats. Bats play an important role in nature. It's fun to learn about them.